exactly 12 minutes remaining in the VSU faithful trying to get behind their top ranked Valdosta State football team but they have faced tonight Ron Roberts and a group of statesmen that have come in here with a purpose a good game plan still plenty of time to go but your number 14 against number one on the number one team's home field you're a definite underdog Wilson this time boy I tell you VSU smelled this one out from the beginning mm -hmm. Diedrich couldn't do anything fancy because big number 98 was there to make the play defensively Caleb St. Louis yeah, they had that they had that one sniffed out didn't they? they did Caleb only a sophomore 6'2 275 from Bethlehem Georgia a transfer from southeast Louisiana Well, they've got a great plan here with, with Schroeder and what he's doing. Yep. They're trying to throw. Is that, that a fumble? That was a fumble. That was a fumble. Lose football. That was a fumble. Going to flip it over to Schroeder. I think maybe he was going to throw it again or look for something else. And he fumbled the football, and the Blazers have it. A big, big turnover recovery for VSU. As Valdosta State, we'll watch it again here, Jesse. Yep. What I want to say is. Valdosta State is the national defending national champion team and it and they're I'm telling you they're not going to quit in this game till the last dog whistle blows anything can happen right. in this oh, game no and I'm question. telling you that was a great play yeah. absolutely great play great call yeah there was no doubt that was a lateral yep it was a loose football mm -hmm. and I think they had something else I, in mind when Schroeder so. had it probably so but the Valdosta is a championship team and they are going to stay in it till the end and that's why they have a banner with two championships on a good fake this time Hart tries to run it himself and he takes a hard hit at the 39 yard line. I mean all type of people there. Hallis was the first guy to get there. Hart with the keeper. Short game on the play. Well, Hicks green. Green Hicks take your choice. And just watch yes. this. I mean Hallis was the guy that led the charge. Then look at the other church coming in there for the statesman you got to give the statesman the defense credit oh. now they are swarming to that football I'd call this the swarm defense because they are flat swarming Valdosta's quarterback yes they are second down and nine hard a lot of time floats it out to the right Jones made the catch it looked like he got away with a little push as well possibly but no flag Got a little separation there, but it made a huge catch. That's why number eight is an All-American. Yep. Well, this guy throws it up to the guy who can make the play, and that's what you got to do. He was well covered, but he just went up and got the ball. Yep. Well, you couldn't see from that angle, but there was a little jousting going on earlier. Robert Watts on the coverage, but Hart finds the All-American Jones for a big, big catch. And now it's first and goal from the six for the Blazers. A little loop toward the end zone. Touchdown! Albert Dukes, his second touchdown of the game. And it was Robert Watts on the coverage once again. And hard to Dukes. Twice they've connected tonight. And now we'll see if they'll go for two. There it is, Jesse. I tell you. Pruitt is into the ball game. And he is a quarterback, and they line him up. He's the holder. And they flip a little screen out to the right, and it's a completion to Dukes. Well, you might as well give Albert Dukes the two because he has earned it with the touchdown, and we are tied at 24. The swinging gate is still alive. Yep, the old swinging gate play through it to Albert Dukes. There you see the big catch by Jones. There you see the touchdown reception by Dukes. And that play ties it at 24. We know you want family-friendly sporting events. Sporting events where you can be comfortable. And entertained in a positive environment. Watching great individuals and teams compete. With commitment, effort, and good sportsmanship. That's what the Division II Game Environment Initiative is about. 
part of the excitement and find out why. These student athletes say with pride, I chose. I chose. I chose Division II. College football fans, if you want your Thursday nights filled with Rock'em, Sock'em, Gridiron battles that will leave you on the edge of your seats, then the Gulf South Conference Game of the Week is just for you. You'll see national champions, regional powerhouses, and legendary rivalries week after week, all on our GSC TV Live network. Don't miss a minute of the best in Division II football. GSC TV Live, it's what hometown football fans are watching. GSC fans, have you seen the new improved GSC website at www.gulfsouthconference.org? If not, then you need to check it out today to keep up with all the scores, standings, and news for the nation's premier Division II conference. Best of all, it's the home of the nationally renowned GSC Sports Weekly web TV show, hosted by Jim Cavell and featuring a review of the week that was and a preview of this week's key matchups. During tournament times, the show is updated daily with highlights, interviews, and more. Visit Gulf South Conference org today. Well, make sure you visit the new CSS-Sports.com for the most recent programming schedules, contests, and up-to-the-minute scores from around the Southeast. CSS is your source when it comes to Southeast sports. So make sure to visit CSS-Sports.com for all the latest info. Well, the info tonight is we are tied, my friend, at 24. Well, I mean, all the momentum was going one way in one play. Yep. You know, the lateral ball, the fumble, and now the, all the momentum has gone the other way, and all the excitement is with Valdosta right now. That's why they have two national championships, 04 and 07. This guy, a good return man, Williams, but he is, rock, excuse me, Jackson, he is wrapped up by a host of players led by Demarcus Flanagan. And they can't hear a whistle down there. No, they can't, and you can tell, uh, getting a little... Uh, Testy out there. There's no love loss between these two. Yeah. No, Delta's won the last two. Uh, That's right. Games so no. Let's talk about the scoring drive. Three plays, 40 yards, a minute 11. And the Duke's got the two point conversion and the touchdown. We always hit like an answer, because yep. this is one of those things that, you know, if Valdosta keeps the enthusiasm right here, it could be very bad for Delta. See, Delta's got to quiet him down. DeWitt finds Deed on a little slant pattern, and Deed going to be about a yard shy of the first down. That was a good run. Good run after the catch. You know, that's one of those things you got to have. Make a good run after the catch. The yards you get after the ball's been caught. That's so important. Once again, no backs in the backfield. Second and two. Deed breaks a tackle to get the first down and then some across the 35 to the 37 yard line. Sherrard Reynolds, the All American All Conference performer, came up number 10 to make the play. It's a good little series that Delta has here by bringing him in motion from a, a no back set. It makes the, the secondary spread out for Valdosta and then they give it to him on a handoff sweep type play. And it, you know, they've, they've made good yards on it. Garrett DeWitt has shared time with Blake Barnes and Diedrich Wilson. Deed again gets the reception. And then he's shoved back by a host of black seven shirts. Of yeah, seven of them. They're fired up. And again, Jesse, we talked during the break. We're talking about Valdosta State as we watch this replay again. They have not had the football that much at all here in the third quarter. No, they haven't. They haven't had it hardly at all. The time of possession is unbelievable. But that is the most overrated stat there is in football. Right. Five minutes less, but you're right. It didn't take long when you score three plays and Takes 40 seconds or something like that. Deed, Deed again. Boy, oh, could have been a face mask. And it is. Larry Dean unintentionally got a piece of the face mask, but it doesn't matter anymore. Right. And it's a 15 yarder. 21st penalty in the game. 
Personal foul, face mask, defense number 32. 15 yards added to the end of the run. First down. Well, Dean had the pick for the touchdown in the first half. It was unintentional, but still, there's no five yarder anymore. Yep. Well, he got a hold of it pretty good anyway, yep. even under the old rules. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he cracked good, it. Yep. Good athletes. So a big penalty makes it first and 10. Now at the 39 of Valdosta State, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Mitchell. Well, there have been yellow flags everywhere. And you know why? Nine for 74 for DSU, 12 for 112 for VSU. 21 penalties. You should get tired. <laughs> Don't want anything that big. You get no, tennis elbow. Yeah, no something. Kidding. Like parachutes falling out. <laughs> Once again, no backs. And DeWitt on second down and 10. Flush from the pocket, looks for the safety man. That's Deed. He gets away from one player. I tell you what, Yard. I've been impressed by Trevar Deed tonight. Yards after catch. Yep. Yards after catch. Yep. Man, he was he was dead to rights. I mean, he, 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 this was going to be a lost yardage play. And it brings it down and gets the yard at the average penalty yards. DSU 107, VSU 99. That's per game. That's tonight. That's the way it breaks down. Big play, big third down play here coming up. See what DeWitt can come up with here. 112 to 74 tonight on the penalties. DeWitt. Rush from the pocket, flag on the play. Uh -oh. And it's going to be a holding against Delta State. You know, I thought I saw him give a personal foul signal. No. Holding okay. offense number 71, 10 yards previous spot, Andy replay, Seas. third down. All right tackle out of Lake Worth, Florida. Seven oh five remaining in regulation. We are tied at twenty four. On the season, Delta State averages one hundred and seven eighty four tonight. DSU ninety nine. They have one hundred and twelve tonight. So they both have been penalized. The two most penalized teams in the conference, as Mike Banks pointed out earlier. Now DeWitt under pressure throws. And kind of a broken pattern. I think he had to let that one loose. Moore was the only guy down there. Yeah, he definitely had to let it loose. Yeah, <laughs> he was going to lose. He was his under teeth. tremendous duress back yeah. there. So now it's now, third down and eight. Fourth down. If they go for this, <laughs> fourth and fourteen. To, uh, Not this time. <laughs> Strickland's going to check into the game. Oh me. Of course, you know they hate to give the football back to Valdosta State. Let's go to Jim about something on Sherrard Reynolds, Jimmy. I'll talk about Sherrard Reynolds. Plenty of All-Americans gone through this program here at Valdosta State University, but he's definitely one of the most versatile. He played offense his first year as a receiver, and here he's receiving this punt and Fair catches it. He's also uh, made the transition to defense and for the last three years has been an all-conference defensive back, a two-time All-American and a special teams player to watch. He had a fair catch that one, but Don, Sherrod Reynolds is a game breaker to watch. Question about a Jim, 13 career interceptions for that gentleman right there and a great punt returner as well. All tied up at 24, and now it's going to be Valdosta State with the opportunity. And you can see Coach David Dean trying to fire up his troops. He said, we fought back. We tied it with the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Let's try to finish this thing off in the last 634. And a real impact player is Sherrard Williams. This went in and out of the hands of Jones. And now a flag comes in way late. It had to be a late hit, huh? Man, there's a good one. Personal foul against DSU. 96 yards in penalties Ball now. Personal foul. Number 15 defense. 
Let's see if we can pick up what happens at the end of the play. I didn't see 15, 21 maybe. That would be Arcillo. Just a little extracurricular yeah. activity after the whistle. We've had run. none of that tonight. No. Here they come, boy, yep. they're bringing a the blitz. And Hart goes right to work, wants the run, breaks the tackle, and falls forward to the 40-yard line. A little bit shy, they're going to spot him at the 39, it appears. i tell you what, that was a great escape. I mean, they had him dead to the right in, uh, with the blitz. They sure did right here, didn't they? Boy, oh, man, he just, just spun, spun wide away from Hallis, didn't he? Just failed to lock up on him. Six minutes and the clock running here in the fourth quarter, all tied at 24. This is when they're talking about those great backs from Delta State and great receivers. You've got to tackle them. Yep. And, and uh, Ronnie <laughs> Nelson makes this catch and it's slammed down. Well, that's a nice job getting up and patting him. Yep. Robert Watts mm -hmm. on the stop. I think these guys on uh, both sides would be a little sore after this game. I know one fighting. guy that's got to be sore. <laughs> the Schroeder's not sore. Yeah. This, uh, that guy's not made out of flesh and blood. Let's look at it. It's been that all night long both ways. Offensive guy going hard, defensive guy coming right back at him. It's been good GSC football tonight. Hart. The throw fires knocked down against Spinks with a nice play. That was a good defensive play. Yeah. I mean, it was a very good. He had him guarded right in front of him. No place for him to go. It's intended for TJ Williams, but watch Spinks. Boy, 17's been all over the field tonight. Great play. Yep. Great play. And you talk about Spinks, you talk about an impact player. Look at that. Eight tackles, one tackle for loss, fumble recovery, with broken up three passes, blocked to kick, took out the garbage, everything else. Oh, me, we got another, and one sack. another special play coming here. Time out. That's it. <laughs> we were going to see something interesting again, weren't we? Well, we had this, another form of the swinging gate. Yeah. Something that. Mouse Davis started years ago. <laughs> Delta State led at the intermission. They led in the third quarter. Valdosta State got a big touchdown pass, a two-point conversion, and tied at 24. And VSU's going to need to give it up now on fourth down and about four. They've got Schroeder back there deep now on the punt return. This is one of the things he's... He's second in the Gulf South and returns average 16 yards to return. He a low kick. Ground. He has a chance to get it and does and brings it back to the 25, 26 yard line and Reynolds, the free safety and also on special teams makes the play on Chad Schroeder. Schroeder with the return for the so 4.57 remaining in regulation and Delta State's going to have the, the possession State, here. 27 yard line. It has been a hard fought, penalty ridden <laughs> football game, but yet you can't beat what we have right now. All knotted up at 24 with less than five minutes to play, despite all that stuff, Jesse. That's amazing. And multiple players making plays. I mean, it's like every time I look up, I see somebody different. Delta State playing three quarterbacks. Patterson. Gets the carry, tries to cut it to the outside, and he's chopped down by Larry Dean. Boy, this linebacker is outstanding. He's only six foot 205, but he could have probably be a uh, corner or maybe even a safety in the NFL. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, he just wrapped him up around the. You can't run if somebody's got a hold of both of your kneecaps, can you? No. And he's the leader. Look at him. I mean, he is firing up that defense. Number 32 in the black. Looks like he's fixing to rush the quarterback here. Garrett DeWitt, and he is coming on the blitz, and guess who got it? It was Larry Dean again, wasn't it? I believe so. 96 also involved. Sanias. I think it was Dean, though. Look at him. He, came, he knocked it down. There's no doubt. He was the guy coming from the corner. It might have been 96. We'll give it to Sinead. Yeah, he was He's happy. bigger. He was happier. <laughs> and now a third down and 11. 
They're on their feet and they're rocking here at Blazemore Hyder Stadium in Valdosta, Georgia. Little swing across the middle, in and out of the hands of Trevor Deed, because Sherrard Reynolds, the senior out of Moultrie, Georgia, came up and made the big hit. And this VSU team is really, really fired up. Boy, they have, they're a different football team. They are definitely a different football team. They have come alive. Reynolds with 10 tackles and a pass breakup tonight. He has been all over the field from his free safety position. Big time players make big time plays when the big time is needed. <laughs> they sure do. And the punt is away from Strickland, Strickland and a punt. good one, really good one. Fumbled by King, loose ball, and I think Delta State says they have it, you and the it. Statesmen do. You got the Wow. <laughs> Where was Reynolds? And Reynolds wasn't the guy back there, it was King. And a loose football, and guess what, Spinks. <laughs> I believe it was Dominic Spinks once again, number 17. That is two times now he's got fumble recoveries and caused them. What a great job by Spinks. Boy, I tell you, you're gonna know this guy by the end of the season and what he has done for this defense. So now with 4.02 remaining, it's first and 10 DSU from the Valdosta State 35. DeWitt wants to throw, now he's in trouble and he's hammered down. Big number 94, Sibinoller, Mark Sibinoller, the defensive end, the first guy to get there. Great coverage, yep. great coverage in the secondary by Valdosta. No place for DeWitt to throw it. That number one defense is, uh, uh, pass defense is coming alive. They, it's, it's time to do it now. But DeWitt fortunately was able to minimize it to just a one yard loss. And hold on to the ball. Yep. Three and a half minutes remaining. We are tied at 24. DeWitt wants to throw, looks downfield. Oh. A lot of contact. Trevor Deed was trying to run his route. I don't think there was anything significant other than the fact that he ran it, into the yeah, defender. Yeah, he ran into the defender. Yeah. I think you're right. I think that was good defense. Reynolds was over there. And now it's going to be third down and 11. Well, I would say this is definitely a two play deal because I don't think they'll punt the ball. I mean, I, 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 I believe they'll go for it. Well, based on the previous yeah. things yeah. tonight, they just need to get half of it here. Is what they're doing. DeWitt with Stallings Blitz. next to him. Blitz is on. DeWitt looks up, fires. Oh, what a play. Schroeder had it knocked away by King. Roger King with a big time play from his quarterback position to knock it away from Schroeder. I mean, this is absolutely one of the best plays of the night. I mean, just look at this. Oh, what oh I mean, play. he had to recover, didn't he? Yes, he did. He, he had to beaten. make up some ground. Watch it from this angle. He was beaten, and this guy. He, oh. Let's go to Jim Caval to cap that one off, Jim. Well, we talked about Sherrod Reynolds returning punts. The last time they had a return upon it wasn't Reynolds that lined up, it was King. King is the guy who fumbled the ball, Delta recovers, and who makes the big play to stop Delta State? It's King batting it down, maybe the play of the night. He yep. wanted to keep his scholarship. Yep. <laughs> it's the night of Kings, isn't it? <laughs> and Delta State now takes a timeout. <laughs> Those old stories, hey, man, he was playing for his life. That's right. <laughs> Don from a five. Well, we'd like to remind you as we'll talk about uh, not only college football, but high school Friday nights. This season is already underway for high school football teams all across the southeast. And CSS brings you local matchups every Friday night. Catch the regional game of the week as Memphis area teams, Olive Branch, and Panola meet this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Go to css-sports.com to view the local schedules for Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, and South Carolina. You still like watching high school football, don't you? Love it. I love it. We have a great high school team, two of them, matter of fact, right in our area of Hot Springs Village. We got, yeah, we got Fountain yeah. Lake, who's undefeated, scored about 60 points a game. <laughs> 
Jesse Bill, who went 15 and 0 two years ago. Let's go back to Jim quickly. Jim? Well, it was a ploy that they're kicking this ball. It's not. They just got in the huddle. They gave Santos the go, and he's lining up. He's going to go for the game winner from this distance right now, Don. 53 yards. Santos. Here's the, he Here's the kick. It's on the way, and it is no good. No good. It came up short. And now, of course, Valdosta State will take over at the line of scrimmage. 36. And they'll have three minutes and four seconds. We'll watch it again. Again, when you get a, a wobbly kick like that. It was, it was dead center. It would have been good if yeah. it had been long enough. What a game tonight here in the Gulf South Conference. As we mentioned, no place for the meek, that's for sure. And yeah, David Dean trying to keep his record perfect this season and look for their 13th straight win. And I think more importantly, snap a two-game losing streak to this team. Yeah, no kidding. Man. Yeah, these guys don't like each other. Because the playoffs come at the end of the year. Yeah, as you can tell from the way they're playing, they really don't like each other. Yep. And Hart wants to crank up and throw, and then he's caught from behind. He's lucky he didn't fumble that ball. Yes, he is. Good play defensively by number 32 for Delta State. That is Rodney Diggs. And Diggs comes up with a big play, and you're right. He had that yeah, ball he, hanging out yeah. there and didn't see Diggs coming from behind. Yeah, he came from behind. Very easily could have caught it. Well, they got a two deep secondary back here with a with four man down lineman. They got this look. Looks like they're going to play zone. Make him stay in that pocket and throw it. They got two stand up guys in the middle rushing. Second down and 11. Keep him in the pocket. Hart rushed from the pocket, tries to get it to TJ Williams, incomplete. He was being harassed by number yeah. 41. <laughs> you know, watch it here again, Jesse. I tell you, when this guy gets outside the pocket, that's really when your worries Ooh, begin. And man. I tell you what, he puts it pretty close to there. Williams got to catch that football. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a big play, third and 11. Yep. 2.14 remaining. Ryan Roberts shouting instructions out to his defense, the former defensive coordinator. I notice when he comes, the defense comes off, he goes over and talks a lot to them. Yeah, he's definitely the defensive coordinator still. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's offside. Yep, from the free play, it looks like. Free play. And Hart is going to turn it up and run, and this guy can hurt you. And finally, he slides down at the 42 with 2.03 remaining. But I think that play is going to stand. I think it was off sides, yeah. and it was. So a free play and a huge run, the biggest run of the night for Chris Hart. Well, this is the thing an athlete can do for you. Yes. I mean, he's, he's dead to look, look at him. They had him contained, Speed. and then all of a sudden. Speed kills. <laughs> I'm really surprised he went down here. He had some more room, but I think he didn't want to lose the ball. Now they're in good shape. Or any teeth. I mean, he <laughs> they had him pretty well boxed in. He just going to make sure he held over the ball. Hart's rushed for 104 yards tonight. So you add that to his passing total. A very talented redshirt freshman here for VSU. This one again in and out of the hands of Williams. I'm telling you, you're right, Jess. You were down on the field before the game. Chris Hart's got a pretty good fastball. Whitfield was the guy that tipped you, it here. You know, that was a, uh, there was an offensive lineman downfield. Oh, you're right. Look at there. And uh, that, that ball was not thrown behind the line of scrimmage. That Davis, no, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I'm. I'm rooming with the head of the official. Oh. Here. <laughs> Switch if you want. <laughs> no, I mean, he may be, he you guys have actually up. done a good, I mean, you've, oh, you've had this job. many penalties in the game and you've kept it anywhere under control. You've done a great job. Blitz from Ooh. the corner and the ball almost knocked loose again. Jesse Pettifoot was one of the guys that got there. Watch this. You, you oh, mentioned this hit. a couple of times. Yeah, You've got to protect hard. this ball. Look at this. Oh, man. I mean, if, if he doesn't have big enough hands to grab that baby, it's on the ground. That was number 12 again. Yeah, but uh, yep. he has been all over the field. Anthony King. 
That's why I said it's been a night of kings. Of course, he's also been offside about yep. three times. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a very formation. We got two receivers on the line of scrimmage out here, and I'm really surprised. As you can see, the outside guy, yeah, he backed off this time. But they, you can't. Ooh, anyway. <laughs> three, third and 18. Oh, and behind Ronnie Nelson. Oh, that, oh, that was a, a play. huge play, and you could tell Hart was upset with himself. Hicks Green was over there defensively. We're inside one minute to play. Yep. And uh, they're going to put it away, it looks like. There you see right here. He threw it behind Nelson. I mean, that was just not a catchable pass. Well, here goes a little tough man back to return it. Average of 16 yards of return, I believe. Chad Schroeder. And Jack Fulford will try to get a good punt away here. And I think timeout taken by Valdosta State. Valdosta, their first yards on the half. And that's the first timeout they use this half, and it comes with 56 seconds remaining. Well, I'm not sure what that was about other than the fact that maybe he saw some kind of punt block on or did like you said earlier maybe didn't have the right personnel out there or whatever didn't want to take a chance. Well, they've come very close twice tonight yeah, right. to blocking a punt and uh, I'm sure they're going to shore this thing up and make sure they're in some kind of tight punt prevent to make sure they get the punt off. Either that or they may have decided to go for it on right. fourth down. I mean, who knows? We're tied at 24. Let's take a look of uh, around the Gulf South Conference this week. Saturday, number three, UNA at Arkansas Tech. Southern Arkansas at Harding. Henderson State at West Georgia. We'll be at the Arkansas Monticello at Wachita Baptist. Then Concordia Selma at West Alabama at 7 p.m. That's what's coming up this week in the Gulf South Conference. I want to thank Mike Banks for his help here in the booth. Mike Anderson, Vince Early, and all the fine Gulf South Conference crew working hard tonight with us here as we have the perch and the fun. <laughs> and these guys do the work. But these two teams have provided great excitement tonight. Like they're going to set up a return. What a great punt. Oh, and a terrific punt. Schroeder will watch it bounce into the end zone. So, with 48 seconds remaining, Delta State's going to have it first and 10 from their own 20. I think we can start talking about who's going to have the advantage in overtime. I thought <laughs> you might start to bring that up. Although, what we saw at the end of uh, a quarter and a half. Some big, big plays, but I'd have to think both teams now, you don't want to make a crucial mistake. No. We, you know, we, at least you got a fighting chance on offense and defense when you take it to overtime. Yes, it's equal for everybody. Everybody gets a shot from the 25. And it goes on and on. But if you're on the road and you're Delta State, you may want to take your shot where you may have the ball the last time. Looking downfield, complete. That's a wheel nice route. pass. Yes, it was to Rob Moore. Called the wheel route. They've been put outside guy on a post route, ran the inside receiver down the sideline, and and uh, Valdosta left him open. Yep. Moore makes the catch. The first down out to the 35. Play fake. Dewitt throws across the middle. Strode is wide open at the 40. Pulled down from behind at the 39 and a flag. They're going to call it a horse collar. And that'll add enough yardage to it that you're talking not too far from field goal range. Yeah, it's field goal range. 15 yards from there. Puts it down to the 25. Oh, now he's going to pick it up. He's oh, picked okay. up the flag. Yeah, he, well, he didn't have him by the No, neck. he didn't. He collared him, yeah. but caught him by the back of the yeah. yeah. So they did pick up the flag. So now it's first and 10 <laughs> from the 39 yard line. And I think. And Valdosta State's going to take another time out here with 27 seconds remaining. I tell you, you got to give Garrett DeWitt some credit too. He started. Blake Barnes came in for a while. DeWitt came back in. Ball deflected. Interception touchdown. He has played well from that point on. He's yeah. taken hits. He's hung in there. He's not a huge guy, 
Six one, two hundred, but he looks much smaller than that among those yeah. big VSU players. Well, you know, their pass offense in the second half has looked totally different than the first half. In the first half, they couldn't get a pass going. I don't. Uh, Schroeder might have had one catch in the first half, but more in the second half. Three hundred and thirty-two yards passing for DSU, the two hundred for Valdosta State. Rushing yardage 157 to 73 and that is Tom Santos and that is a very lonely position to be in. Yeah. You don't want anybody to talk to you. Nobody wants to talk to you. You've been there have you. <laughs> Makes you pucker up if you know what I mean a little bit. Oh, coach, sack again by Valdosta State. Boy they brought the house. They brought eight guys. They, they sure did. Eight guys that takes some real guts to do that. Ryan now. Buford leading the way and DeWitt just had no there, he had no chance. No Here, chance. Look at this. They called timeout. They had the last timeout. Yep. 94. Simon Dollar was in there. I mean, that took some guts to call that. That's what we used to call it. Yep. Guts. guts. Go for it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bring the house, and they did. They set the clock now at 22 seconds. Delta State has used its final timeout. Double. You know, after that play by Schroeder, they were really 10 yards within distance of a decent right. field goal last night. I was going to say 15 yards yeah. is what they needed, but I, what really shocks me is they ran a play where the quarterback couldn't get rid of right, the ball. Right, right. You don't you, want to lose any yardage. You don't, want, you don't want to take a 10 yard ball. Right. But, but hey, there's been all kinds of things. This has not exactly been by the book. <laughs> Would you say that's safe to no, say? They, no, there's, there's been some. <laughs> There's been some tough things going on in this game. Ron Roberts, his team has played extremely well, particularly considering the fact that this is a tough place to win. You've already beaten Valdosta State twice in a row, gave them their only loss last year. It cost them the conference championship. They did go on to win the national championship at D2. Second and 17 and flags everywhere. They were coming after him again. Yep. Looked like Andy Seas moved early, the right tackle. And now DSU's moving in the wrong direction. Full start. Offense number 71. Five yard penalty. Still second half. So yet another yellow flag. No time off the clock. 24 total penalties. Each team has the privilege of having 12 each. 200 yards in penalties. Well, they use their last timeout. And now Valdosta State takes their last timeout. Now Ron Roberts brings his team over to the sideline. Well, let's look ahead as we talk about the upcoming schedules for both these teams for Delta State. Of course, uh, after this game tonight, they have West Alabama at home, North Alabama at home, at Southern Arkansas, Arkansas Tech, then at West Georgia. That's how the Statesmen, of course, their only loss was the openers, Jesse mentioned, to a really good McNeese State team. And the win against Harding came in overtime. So that's what the statesmen have remaining and Valdosta on the other hand they have already lost a game this year to uh, inclement weather. Of course uh, from all the hurricanes after tonight if you look ahead at Henderson State Harding at home at North Alabama which will be a huge one and then at West Georgia. So only one home game remaining after the night. Second and 22. Well, they're defending. They're only bringing three rushers. DeWitt out of the pocket, throws on the run, looks, and it's tipped away. Tipped away by Anderson. Trevor Deed was the intended receiver. So now it's, you see on this replay, that's what you were talking about, batting the ball away. Yeah, yeah. That's what earlier Delta State didn't do. Yeah, that's right. That's there's a good player coming in there and doing it. The yeah. All-American knows what to do. Now it's third down and 22 with 14 seconds remaining in regulation. And it's 24 all. Well, they're not going to rush. They're going to defend. DeWitt's just going to let it loose. And Reynolds is going to make the pick. 
cover it up. Now actually gives it off to Dean. And Dean is dragged out of bounds as regulation comes to an end. <laughs> That's two great players right there. Yeah. Making a play, wasn't it? Sharon Reynolds gets his 14th career interception. Hey, guess who else was in the game? Mr. Green was out there, man. Yep. He, 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 <laughs> there you he, see the pick. Number three. Looks like he wanted to go down. Look at Dean say, wait, wait a minute. It's, it's not over. Let me run with that. That's actually a forward lateral, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looked like it was. It? You know, you can't exchange it forward. But. Well, Nonetheless, we're, we're going to OT overtime 24 <laughs> 24 at the end of regulation overtime is coming up next. Valdosta, Georgia, it's all you need with innovative minds that feed a thriving business environment, all with access to international contacts and a university influence with championship teams. It's premier healthcare and a community that's metropolitan, yet inviting. Valdosta, Georgia, all you need. Well, there you know. It's... Delta's won the toss. They're on defense first. Valdosta, first and 10, 25 yard line. VSU 0-3 in overtimes dating back to 2000. Delta State, on the other hand, a 1-0, and that came this year uh, against Harding University that they won that game in overtime. So now, Jesse, it's all a matter of who can get some points on the board in each possession. Well, You'd rather not it be a field goal. Right, and the advantage actually, I think, is to the team that gets to go on defense yeah. first because you go know exactly what you have to do right. in the first series. But. That's just, this has not know. exactly yeah. been the norm tonight. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't. We mean. could have a pick on the first play. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you know. Well, the officials huddled up. Yeah. I guess they could, saw if they still had all their flags. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might be a little weathered tonight after as many times since they've been tossed on the field. <laughs> but it's time for Blazer somebody to step up and make a play now on one side of the field. On one side of this ball. Well, who's it going to make penalties? Let's make sure there's none in overtime. Who is it going to be that steps up and makes a play? Chris Hart takes a snap. First play of overtime. He's flushed from the pocket, throws toward the end zone, and it's intercepted. Picked off in the end zone by oh Dominic Spinks. Oh, my. He has been the man, his second pick. Watch it again, Jesse. Oh, man. I'm not sure about this. Try right off the bat. I mean, he just threw it. Yep. And that was first bad pick tonight, choice. but he has done everything else. And look, he's getting helped off the field. He's riding the back <laughs> of Justin Hallis to the sideline. <laughs> man, oh man! And this place has come it's extremely quiet. quiet. Very quiet. Because now, of course, starting at the 25. Field goal you don't range. need a whole lot to get in field goal range. Field goal range already. The defense has dominated here in the second half. Deed gets the carry, goes right up the middle, still on his feet, down to the 20, down to the 18-yard line. I tell you what, that's another guy we probably haven't mentioned enough. Trevor no. Deed, the sophomore. He is just, this guy just won't quit. Watch no. him. Look at well, him. Well, you've mentioned him quite a bit because he's carried the ball several times yeah. on this play. And it's a little sweep that I mentioned earlier from it coming in motion. It's a very time, a play that takes a lot of timing. And I mean, I'm, I'm shocked they're running. <laughs> First time Hart has been picked off tonight. And that was a costly one in overtime. Deed gets the carry again, tries to pop it outside. And gets down to maybe the 17 yard line. What you'd like, I guess, to have here, Jesse, is one more first down and get it as close as you can. Well, I really think they, right here they're going to take it to the middle of the field. Yeah. I, I, that would be my uh, thought process. I, I'm not sure if they. It depends right, on how the right. coach feels right. about his field goal kicker. Right. If he thinks he's, you know, he's automatic and get it in the middle of the field, give him the perfect chance. But don't take any chances of losing that ball. Well, they're going to give it off to Schroeder again. He's not going for field position. He's going for yardage as he takes it down to the 10. 
for a first down. That's the one tough guy. Isn't he? I'm telling you, he is one Look at that. tough. He likes to take it right up the gut, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And now they're in definite field goal range. And now, Jesse, I think you start working it toward the middle of the field, don't you? Uh, yeah, you know, back, like I said, I'd, my man Woody Hayes would come up here <laughs> getting that robust formation and hammer it at him. And now they uh, jump off side. They got you know, because every play. False start. Every Off play you're taking a chance of, of the ball yard popping penalty. out. That's, what I'm still first down. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, you had it in a position. You're talking about 25 penalties in the game, but had they before that five yard penalty, you're talking about a 27 yard field goal right, now. Right, right. I Let's mean, anybody cut. should make that. That's why I thought after that first down, yeah. you move it toward the middle right. of the field. It's like an extra point. But do it, just make sure you go. He's only made one of 22. Well, he made one action longer than that tonight. Inside the 10, down to the 9. Oh, I'm shocked they're running these kind of plays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked they're running these kind of handoff sweeps. And... Wow. Well, and again, Santos has made only two of six on the season. Well, they made, they, that, hey, okay. Then and just, his longest is hey, just you, over 20 you, yards. You got to do, you do everything you can Mike to score Anderson a touchdown. Let me know that in my ear. Okay. And that's a big you, factor. You're, you're right. You're going to score a touchdown. And now it goes to D. This guy's looking for pay dirt. Yeah. And he takes it down to the two. A loose ball. Valdosta State says they have it. And I think they've ruled it dead. It was way long oh, after the me. play. What a big call this is. What a big call. Oh, now they're going to give it to Valdosta State. Wow. Man, oh, man. Well, yep. that ball was loose. Yep. It was a fumble. It was, uh, There's no doubt it was a fumble. It was. Man, oh, man. That's why you got to have a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Man, oh, man, you talk about taking. They're trying to snatch victory from the jaws oh, of the feet. No they? question about it. <laughs> I mean, all he had to do was hang on to the football. But I tell you what now, he got hit. Oh, he got he hit. Rip. I mean, it's one of those deals. And he's up limping. Uh, Very seldom do you see a team commit a turnover when they have the ball first. It's back and on to get the ball inside the 10-yard line. It's back on the 25-yard oh, line. Yeah. Let's start over and now. Now Delta gets to go first. Yep. Man, oh man, we have seen everything tonight in this game. And again, it took so long for the ruling, but let's give them credit. Uh -oh. It was a perfect call. That was a fumble. Two turnovers in the first overtime. No Illegal substitution. Offense. Now you got a penalty in the second Five yard overtime penalty. already. Still first down. Well, the stadium all of a sudden got loud again. Yes, it did. I was so surprised after that pick by Spinks, the positioning. But again, but I go back to Santos. They let him try 53 yards. Yeah. A little slant pattern complete. The betterman. I think VSU knows. They really got lucky. <laughs> they dodged, one they dodged a couple of bullets. <laughs> but I do. This, this crowd has come back. I have to give they, they they're breathing new life again. And you see better make the catch. But now it's second down and 12. And you don't think your field goal kicker can make a 27 yard field goal. <laughs> You're begging from here. Yep. They got that's a four guys to the wide field over here. We see with only one defender on his backside. Slant pattern to Betterson again, yeah. and he's inside the 20 to the 19. Yeah. Not even close to the first down. Ganaway, Cameron Ganaway came up number 26. Yeah, they, they definitely had a one on one coverage back here on the backside away from the quads. And a good and straight up tackle there. Look at that. Yep. 
And a good throw, a very good throw. They got him back in field goal range is definitely, you know, for if he can trick <laughs> try a 54 yarder, surely he can try one for the next one. Uh, he'll have to. They don't Boy, you hate to let it the kicking game. And so often it's the factor though, isn't it? Yep. Here comes a blitz. And a pass. Oh, and <laughs> had it right in his hands. And he had the first down and maybe then some. What happened? I'm telling you, this guy has been hit so many times tonight. Watch his head. See him look? Yep. He you're looked right. just as the ball got there. And I'm, I don't blame him. Many yeah. times he's been hit. Young man has taken some unbelievable, brutal hit, brutal uh, hits tonight. But that's led to that drop in my opinion and he would have had the first down and then some and now you're talking about a 36 yard field goal by Santos the kick is on the way and the kick is good so a big big kick by Tom Santos tell you what I still think <laughs> I would have taken that opportunity much, much earlier. I think you, as you mentioned, Jesse, every time you handle every the ball, time you snap it, you've got a chance of turning <laughs> it over. But give Santos give credit. Good. He came through when they needed him because you have to put some points on the board. You got to. Yeah, you got to. Because now if you're on defense for DSU, your job is to keep Valdosta State out of the end zone. That's a, how you do. Out of the end zone, you get your potential winner. Had a lot of miscues tonight. 10 turnovers, 26 penalties for 227 yards combined. Little swing pass out to Cedric Jones, and he's covered up. What about that DSU defense tonight? Great tackle. The, these are two teams, Jesse. One a national champion, one your conference champion. <laughs> they ain't giving an inch, are they? Hey, they are playing Look to at the this. end. Look at that one-on-one -on -one tackle here. Uh, he, God, actually, that, the first guy didn't away. make the tackle, yeah. but he turned him in where the three or four more people could get there and tackle. Man. Matt Melton, number 70. Second down and eight. Get first down. Yeah, he did. Well, that's, that's a play that this young man can strike fear into the hearts of the defense with because of the speed he's right. got, the size he's got. He's given given those. And that's defenders. why you want to have an athletic quarterback like that. This yes, is the times in the games that it makes the difference, isn't it? Yep. He faked that little option play to the to the back. He had a keeper on the back side, and it's that back end. The defender had to make a great tackle to open field. That's why I was so shocked on the first play of overtime that he mm. tried to go in the end zone. He had mm. so many weapons. Ooh, man. Oh, he's going to keep it again. And he's at the 10. And look at the big guy. Another fumble. I think VSU kept it. Well, they say they did. <laughs> Well, they're pointing in that direction, but then there's the flip side of having a running quarterback. Yeah. You put it on the ground, and man, oh man, I mean, that was a, watch this run. Look how hard, watch he knocks the defender back. Put that back. ball away. Watch, watch this, Jesse. Put that ball away. I mean, he, he knocked <laughs> Hicks Green back from this angle. Look at him. I mean, he knocked two defenders back there. Oh. Wow, he got it lucky. back. He got that it. Was back. a fumble. Ooh. Man, oh man. Now Hart trying to get the win. He hands it off to Manson, and Manson is stopped at the 10 yard line. Number 12, Anthony King comes up with another huge play. Boy, he is well, how solid is this? Eddie. Look at this. Oh, what a I mean, great just tackle. Wrapped him up. Yeah, I don't know if I have a quarterback like Chris Hart. Very honestly, if I'm going to put the ball in anybody else's hands but his, the way he's been able to you know, rush for over 100 yards, the leading rusher in the game. I think he'll probably run that option play again where he'll fake it to 21 in the backfield here and keep it himself. Third and six. Yep. Oh, he wants. Oh, he fumbled it. Loose ball. Oh, it's over Delta with. Delta State has it. <laughs> Delta State has it and wins the football game. Delta State has upset top right Valdosta.
across the state on appropriately a turnover to end this football game. They can't turn it over anymore. <laughs> Unbelievable contest tonight. Both teams just laid their hearts out there, committed a lot of turnovers, a lot of penalties, and right now Chris Hart is a disappointed red shirt freshman but don't you dare and what a class act did you see david dean come over yep. and say something to that young man yep. Yep. he was the you reason they were in the football game yep. wow jesse what a finish <laughs> <laughs> well it's been fun to watch it i can tell you 27 24 the final in double overtime hard hits a lot of penalties interceptions we'll be back with you saturday with the arkansas monticello at wachita baptist at 7 central time only in little rock on css this has been a copyrighted presentation of comcast sports and the gulf south conference for jesse branch jim caval i'm don russell for our crew good night the upset to delta state